Welcome to this episode of Spirit Animals! The show where we like to drink spirits. And then we like to act like animals. And I use Harden! Alright, on this episode of Spirit Animals, we are trying Bird Dog Strawberry Flavored Whiskey. Uh, weighing in a hefty 80 proof. For a flavored whiskey, it's a little bit higher because usual flavored whiskey sit around 70, 70 proof. This is 80 proof, 40% alcohol. So, uh, Saul's had it. Basically, try it with us anyways. Kind of give us some pointers or, you know, tell us what he thinks. But Ross and I haven't had it. We want to try it. We're going to try to make strength. All that good stuff we do on Spirit Animals. Who? Let's give this, uh, this shot a smell. Man. Like strawberries. Man. Usually, okay. It smells like what I love. Usually, uh, flavored whiskeys uh, still smell like whiskey and they have like a hint of what they're flavored. This smells like strawberry juice. All right, let's not delay this anymore. I'm going to go and try this. All right, cheers, Ross. Saul, let's do this shit. Just as delicious as I remember it. I taste more like a raspberry feel. Kind of the same as the smell. It kind of tastes like strawberry bubble-licious. Man, I always give it that gum aftertaste. That's what I tell people most of the time. Uh, so, Saul, what do you think? Uh, one to five. Like, I'm giving this a five. I, I recommend this to everybody all the time, all day, every day. This is a great whiskey. It goes down like butter. You can love it. It's still kind of girly. Your girl will love it, but you won't feel girly drinking it because it still has a nice little whiskey bite to it. Let's hand it just. Mm. Three? It's really good, and I don't mean to like knock it. It's just it, it's it's not like particularly for me. Well, maybe a little bit too sweet. All right. Well, uh, I don't have a problem giving this one. I sold four. Um, I don't think it's perfect by any means. No offense, Saul. I'm offended uh, already. Don't worry. That's that's um, easy to do. Very good flavored whiskey. Um, it's not natural enough for me. Like, there's some whiskeys that some flavored whiskeys have out there that taste exactly like the product they're trying to display. Like American Honey by Wild Turkey is like it's made with real honey, so it has this nice sweet, rich. Um, but it also has like if you've ever had real honey, it's like a numbing. It's kind of like it's kind of hard to explain. Like real honey, like unaltered honey, is not as sweet. So, but that's something like that. That would be like a five. I think American Honey is great. Uh, this stuff is awesome too. But I would, I don't, I don't give it more than a four. It's uh, something I would drink, no problem. Would pick it up myself. Not quite perfect. But you and know what? Mm. I bet there's a way to make it better. Always a way to make How? it better. How? Mm. What if you needed a nice, refreshing strawberry lemonade? Oh Holy shit! Shit! Does that sound Sol good? Sol, oh my god, we're gonna call this oh one the Solomade Sol because Ooh, like this is Solomade. <laughs> so all we need is that Solomade, baby. But we should just call it the Bird Dog Piss. All right, guys, so we're back with all our supplies here. We're going to make the Bird Dog Lemonade. We're just going to make it simple here. It's going to be two ounces of Bird Dog Strawberry Whiskey. We're just going to top with some lemonade. We're just going to do two ounces of the Bird Dog Strawberry. And you're going to take your lemonade and just give it a nice top. Not like uh, scouring, but like I'd say right about there. And then you want to get your mixing spoon here. Get a nice little wiggle. Maybe even garnish with a with a uh, like a lime wheel or something like that, but I don't have that, so fuck that shit. There's your bird dog lemonade right there. Fuck your fancy bullshit. That looks good. All right, guys, so we got our bird dog lemonades here. It's the bird dog strawberry and lemonade. Uh, let's give it a smell. See how this this comes out. It looks good, dude. Oh my god, that's that is amazing. Ooh. Ooh. All right, guys. Cheers. Ooh. Oh yeah. Sweet, sassy, molassy. Oh my god, man. Something so simple. That's the way to go. Like, um, you don't want to spend your time mixing this into some sort of, um, like, uh, crazy drink that, that calls for a lot of things. Bourbon and lemonade. It's Especially nice with much. a little strawberry kick to it. Oh my god. It's like uh, like a nice, refreshing strawberry lemonade you get at a park. Then maybe your uncle got some really cheap whiskey and like put a little, like maybe a thimble full in. That's what it tastes like. Not much in here. Two ounces, though. Two ounces of whiskey's in here. I'm yeah, tasting it's mostly good. the lemonade. It's got a nice little strawberry kick afterwards once it's all settled in your the, mouth. The, the bourbon kind of cuts a little bit of the tartness of the lemonade, too. Actually. Absolutely. Definitely. For sure. And you don't take, and you don't get that super artificial bubble gummy taste when you drink it out this way, either. So, I think this would be a better way to drink it than a straight shot with lemonade, which is accessible pretty much anywhere. Well, thank you for watching this episode of Spirit Animals, guys. My name is Ryan. He shit his pants. I shit my pants. <laughs> As did <laughs> I. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful day. Mine's over. I gotta. I I I, I gotta. I can't stand the smell. So anymore. hey man, do you ever play Final Fantasy X? 
I played every Final Fantasy. Did you like Final Fantasy X? Yeah. I really enjoyed it a lot. Fucking Waka be like, Hey man, my name's Waka! It's voiced by fucking John DiMaggio. That's I knew it! I That's fucking knew that too! Fucking Bender John. voices Waka. It's fucking John DiMaggio. Doesn't he do fucking Bender and all those guys? Yeah, Bender and uh, Jake the Dog. Yeah. 